Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with an exciting video uh, unpacking actually the confirmed uh, potential scourges slash packs that we're going to be seeing with Black Cat's upcoming trial event. So having said that guys, got to give credit where credit's due msf.tools discord i've been using this now for quite some time um just to, in order to get a good sense of what the data mines could be coming up in the weeks and this has not failed uh but this was really exciting we got this update actually last night here and uh how you navigate through this discord and by the way guys i'll put this in the link in the description below if you guys are interested but it's always great to see kind of what's already hidden inside the game before these details come live. Uh, that way it just gives us an advantage in preparation time as well, especially since this event is a couple weeks away. So having said that, uh, if you look on the left here, um, there's a few different data mines that you can access. There's an inbox, store, other. So this is where I found it. It was in the other one that they did the work on. So thank you so much, MSF.tools. You guys are absolutely lovely and awesome to use. So if we hit the other here, and now, um, this, like I said, this update was done last night. We know about the A campaign, isolate energy towards the daily alliance milestone. So that's coming up as well. We know about Black Cat's trials with the bear chair 1808, uh, which is uh, done through spending a power course and the dark alley ores. But uh, what we didn't know was the different combat cards that are confirmed now. And what's cool is like, they make it pretty clear in the, uh, in the data mines, especially when they add the name scourge card. So. Uh, with reasonable assurance here guys we can confirm that these are likely the the impacted packs that we can actually apply uh, to the event itself so if you recall just as a recap if you guys are new to this um, these specific scourges or packs add additional points to your run but as well give us insight on the types of benefits that we're going to be receiving uh, from a result of adding it so uh, last nova trial when we did the event uh, we knew that the nowhere excuse me we knew that the masters of evil team would not be great by itself but then by activating the cosmic crucible bonuses we had a huge advantage that team basically went from you know uh being useful to overpowered as heck in in the in the actual run itself so uh that's what we got confirmed today guys hopefully you guys enjoy this but let's take a look at what's new so you know first and foremost uh this first one here world at war so we kind of knew this already but it does now confirm all war abilities are active during this run so what that what that means is for any team you're bringing in if they have any war buffs any kind of war bonuses specifically applicable in war well they're going to be also active uh during this and obviously it's probably going to cost some uh significant amount of points getting at it but i mean it's totally worth it just because uh we're going to get to see a lot of the synergies in war especially the nowhere team that's required actually to, to unlock especially those the required nodes but also sinister six as well getting some love with that war bonus so that's really really good to know uh we have another one here that's called sinister symbiosis so uh on spawn non-minion city villain characters are going to gain the sinister six trait and city bio hero characters are also going to gain the symbiote trait so just so it allows for some versatility there i think uh for some potential theory crafting um keep in mind too it doesn't mean that you can you know bring in uh non-minion city villain characters for those nodes that specifically require sinister six or uh nowhere it's just giving them that additional trait so they can be used elsewhere in another node so what you can do probably with that is gain energy um there's just more uh, characters applicable that you can utilize and gain that passive synergy um being sinister six or being in that symbiote trade so it just gives us more options which is nice but again uh, it does not mean that you you can use these guys in the in the required nodes just because those ones were built specifically for those groups of sinister six as well as uh, the nowhere team we have this other one that's called agents of nowhere so on spawn, cosmic hero characters gain the nowhere trait, uh, as well invader is gaining the shield trait. So what I'm expecting from this one is just uh, theory crafting. It's gonna give us the opportunity to use more characters, but especially cosmic hero characters gaining the nowhere trait. Uh, like, are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Icarus and Cersei are like the the most uh, you know uh, iconic cosmic hero characters. So for them to gain the nowhere trait would mean we can utilize them in an earlier node, and they can absolutely blow through specific areas of uh of that node section so that'd be really really cool and they also gain uh the synergy of nowhere so that's i think that's absolutely huge and keep in mind it's on spawn right so that means they only get the benefits right when they're uh used initially but it's pretty cool that means we can potentially see those nodes where we need to bring in nowhere uh, i think i saw a couple where we can utilize um you know thor infinity war as well as uh um star lord annihilation but to bring in the eternals to give them support uh, that would absolutely be huge, especially if they can build up energy for the required uh, node sections. 
We have uh, Brawl Room Blast, all Brawler characters gaining additional critical hit damage, and all Blaster characters gaining critical hit chance. So um, it just gives us more versatility. It's huge because there's that entire section on Brawler. So I guess they're all going to be powerhouses with that additional critical hit damage. They're going to hit like a truck. But it also means that um, if the enemies we're up against also are Brawler characters, we got to be watchful of them too because they're also going to be gaining these buffs as well. So uh, it's nice because it gives them much needed damage and uh, it just means they're going to hit like a truck. And, and that's really fun to see for sure, especially uh, since this is a limited time event. We have this one that's called Second Wind. When any character drops below uh, 50%, uh, they're going to be gaining two ability energy for themselves. So good to know for us, um, but keep in mind this can also apply to the enemy as well. So use that sparingly. I'll keep you guys posted on the ones I recommend, but this sounds like a lot of fun to be honest. Uh, we have this one that's called Hired Help. Uh, it looks like maybe some additional increase here in HP, but it looks like summon characters gain additional max HP. So uh, minions are going to get a little bit of buff there, which is good. We got self preservation, which is on turn. Uh, healers barrier themselves for 5% of HP. So, oh, that's really nice because we're seeing some potential theory crafting where maybe those healer supportive characters, uh, they're also going to be having like a built in fortifier to their HP, making them even tankier. So, they're not going to be as squishy. Good to know. And then we also have on the offensive here. Uh, when a character applies heal block to an enemy, uh, they also heal themselves for 15% of their max HP. So uh, good for characters that apply that heal block, but obviously, like I said, uh, super, super exciting times, guys. Um, that's all we got for now for the updates, but these are the ones that are confirmed that are Scourge cards in the game right now. Super exciting to see this beforehand, and we can feel good knowing that, yes, Nowhere is gonna have their full impact and, and their war bonuses, so we gotta make sure we build them out. They're base, this basically confirms that they're the go-to team. They're, I mean, Sinister Six just is not going to have a chance. I still think Doc Ock will have value. It's just um, the synergy of Nowhere, especially now with this addition of the of the Cosmic Heroes, is going to give them way more versatility in the other nodes as well. Uh, do let me know what you guys think, if this changes your battle plans, and what you guys think of these packs or scourges. But super exciting. I love these events. I'll, keep, I'll definitely keep you guys posted as information comes out. Thank you as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.